Oh, that should do it. What up, what up? Will and JT, he's back here with the Baseball Bat Bros. Guys, today we're here in Salt Lake City, Utah, hitting at Salt Lake Community College, uh, JT's home school, checking out the DeMarini Wood Composites. Uh, this is gonna be an interesting one for you because, I mean, you're swinging wood bat and juco, right? You guys can, you guys can swing wood composite bats. So uh, we wanna see if this is a good viable option today. We're on a pretty big field. It's gonna be 380 in the gaps, 400 to dead center. So let's check these out. All right, guys, here's a closer look at our DeMarini wood composites. Uh, they have three different turn models here. That's going to be the three different uh, colorways. There's actually a 271, but we like a little more mass in the barrel. So left that one at home today. But uh, this is going to be like a rubber, honestly, pretty flexible composite handle. Uh, the barrels, though, are going to be uh, wood on the outside. So this is going to sound like a wood bat. You're going to get that good crack. Uh, really excited to try these out today. Uh, I actually, actually swung these a lot growing up. Really liked them, but uh, we kind of want to set a baseline today because we really like the bomb bat, right? Like, no secret that that's a really, really good wood bat option. Tons of Juco guys swing that bat. Uh, we want to kind of set a baseline with that to start this out and see how these guys compare. Um, the I-13 here is going to be cupped. The other two are uncupped. We have a 110, which is going to be kind of a medium-sized barrel. That's the orange one. An I-13, which is a turn model we really like. Uh, and then a 243, the biggest size of barrel. From my experience, these are actually a really, really good contact hitter option if you're looking for a wood bat because they have a really nice, big, sweet spot. It's flexible and they're pretty light swinging. But let's check it out today. Let's see if we can put a few balls out of here. Uh, deep fences but we're in that mountain air about 4,000 foot elevation so the ball should be traveling pretty good today let's do this fellas all right here we go so I think it's pretty widely agreed upon that in the wood composite space bomb bat is kind of the bat to beat right so uh, let's take a few swings with this to start off we have the gold ash version we also have the white ash version we'll take a we'll take a few swings with what we know about this bat it's very very hot on a pretty small part of the barrel. The sweet spots aren't huge. It's also pretty dang light swinging, very balanced. So let's do this. A very, very light. Ooh, buddy, that was peace. Oh, damn. That short hop 400. That short hop 400 feet, boys. Woo! Yeah. Oh, that's a fun one to hit with. Again, really balanced, pretty small sweet spot. It kind of gets bullied unless you really square it up. The bat kind of gives a little bit. But if you get it on that barrel, this thing's ridiculous. Ah. back in the building and then a couple with uh the white bomb that year oh yeah i like that yeah that, that's a good bat all right let's start things off with the lighter of the three the 110 here gonna be kind of a medium-sized barrel Let's see how these DeMarini wood composites stack up. <laughs> Are you good, JT? That's so loud. <laughs> yeah, it's a way different feel. Way different feel. It looks badass. Yeah? I love the orange. Yeah, it looks dope. Like, right off the bat, I don't feel like it's quite as hot. The sweet spot is quite a bit bigger, though. A lot more forgiving. Dude, that went far. That went 380 feet. That feels good. It almost feels like, like a two-piece composite. Yeah. yeah. Oh, exactly, yeah. It feels just like a two-piece composite. The barrel feels soft like that. Yeah. All right, moving on to a slightly bigger barrel here. We got the I-13, the gray one. So this one's cupped. It's gonna be a little more balanced for its barrel size. That feels pretty good on this hits, man. Dude, this one 
almost feels lighter. Yeah. This one's very light. This is like a straight up contact hitter's bat, which is honestly hard to find in the wood bat space. So that's kind of a pretty cool thing. I don't, I don't see many bats like this. The light wood bat with a big sweet spot, really forgiving, not gonna break, so. Like, if I'm a contact hitter, though, that's a killer option. Ooh. Oh. Feels pretty good. Yeah, it's like you know, not a lot of less pop yeah, exactly. Than like the bomb bat, but it's easier to get barrel. Yeah, I was like, what, 360? Yeah, maybe. I would like a little more mass in the barrel, though, a little more juice. So let's try out that 243. All right, now we got the big boy, the 243 uncupped, gonna be the biggest barrel out of all of them. Uh, got that blonde look, looks really good. Uh, high hopes for this one. Uh, there's a guy in the Portland area that's literally one of the top prospects in the country that hits nukes with this thing. So let's see how this goes. Trying to put a couple out of here. Oh, kind of on the hands. Low ball, 390, let's go. A little oppo pop. Yeah, that's pretty good. Couple hop. Oh, that was stumped. 401 hop. All right, we might be talking here, fellas. Yeah. I like this one. Four a two forty three. This is very balanced. Right center. Short hop, dude. I didn't even see that. That short hop to the left of 380, that went far. All right, let's muscle up here. Oh. Reynolds elbow into the bullpen. The feel on this and the function, it feels like you're hitting a freaking two piece hybrid. Tons of flex. Uh, you don't have that stiffness and tiny sweet spot that you're going to have on a lot of wood bats. Uh, probably like the easiest transition if you're coming straight out of metal. Uh, it's going to be a rude awakening though if you switch from this to like real wood. But if you're just looking for like, you know, if you're in high school and you have a lot of wood bat tournaments where you're switching from wood to metal, wood to metal, like this is the closest thing I've found to a metal bat that is a wood bat. Oh, that should do it! Oh, no, almost. 390, I almost got it. Oh. That's it. Let's go! Oh. No! That? That's it! Come on, third time's the charm, baby. No! Warning track. All right, so I'm maxing out with this thing at about 390 right now. Three, like 380, 390. Stay up, stay up. Oh, Can't get one out. I would honestly tell you a regular maple bat with a bit more mass in the barrel is gonna hit it further than this. But again, if you're just looking for something that's gonna swing a lot like metal, be really forgiving, good sweet spot. Uh, this is the closest thing to it. But if you're just looking for sheer power, I'd get a good maple. That's it! Finally! Yeah. Alrighty, so thoughts on these DeMarini wood composites. Uh, guys, kind of what I was expecting. The rare wood bat contact hitter bat. So, uh, we got to talk about something, guys. I see way too many 13-year-olds swinging 3330 Marucci AP5s. Those things are heavy, bro. There's a reason it's called AP5. It's for Albert Pujols. That dude is literally called the machine. He is a monster. 661 bombs. Yeah. So when, for example, a 13, 14 year old, 15 year old goes into a wood bat tournament, a lot of the times they're picking up 
way, way, way more end loaded of a bat than the typical Victus Vandal or Meta that they're used to swinging in their high school games. Whereas this is honestly going to be probably the closest thing you're going to find to a metal bat feel. The, like JT and I agree, these feel like two piece composite bats. If, if you want power, if you're maybe like an older guy playing Juco ball or later in high school trying to get recruited, trying to hit nukes, I think there are better options than this straight up. But if you're a younger guy looking to get base hits and you want a bigger sweet spot bat that's a little bit lighter swinging, honestly, these are the best bats I've found for that. I'm not saying that these are bad bats because they can't hit the ball as far as other bats. I'm saying that these provide a unique value for a younger player in my opinion. Putting this up against a bomb bat, I would say if you wanna hit bombs, if you want a slightly higher slugging percentage, I would get a bomb bat and go up like half an inch of what you would normally swing. That's what JT does right now. If you're a smaller guy, especially if you're a high school guy, and you know you're not gonna hit bombs, you just wanna get base hits with a good light swinging, big sweet spot bat, Deemery Wood Composite is gonna be your best bet. And honestly guys, in the conversation of wood composite versus real wood, unless you have like a ton of money, I really don't see why you would buy a whole bunch of regular wood bats over and over and over and over again. It's gonna save you so much money in the long run, especially if you're playing a lot of wood bat games to get a wood composite. These all have one year warranties. They're gonna last you a long time. Maybe if you have like one tournament a year or something like that, a couple wood bat tournaments a year, then yeah, I think it'd be a really good option to just get like a $50 uh, Louisville five series ash bat. Uh, Cause I mean, that's gonna get the job done hit some nukes, uh, it's just not gonna last you very long. But if you're only playing a couple tournaments, that's a good move. But if you're a contact hitter, you want a bat that's gonna last you a long time, these Deemery wood composites are what I would go with. This is what JT swung in high school uh, before he was really hitting nukes. This is what I swung in high school before I was really hitting nukes. Uh, so that's how I'd position these bats. I honestly felt like the cupped bat, like the I-13, made it a little too balanced. Uh, I personally liked this added a little more mass in the barrels, a little better off the end of the bat. I really like this orange bat, honestly. JT, do you agree, man? Yeah. Yeah, I, like the, I probably like the 110 best out of all of them. It combines those contact hitter qualities really well. It looks dope. This kind of acts like a power hitter's bat, and don't get me wrong, I know a dude that hits nukes with this bat. I just think with another bat, he'd hit even more nukes, personally, but uh, like I'd honestly go with this. Again, guys, if you're a power hitter, I'd get something else. But uh, if you're wanting to spray the ball all around the field, have good bat control, this Deemerini 110 wood composite is a badass option. And JT, the people want to hear from you, man. They miss you. So yeah. what do you think about the wood composites here? I miss you guys too, but I, I agree <laughs> with Will. The 110 was definitely my favorite. It had a lighter swing weight than the 243, but it had the same amount of pop pill. Like. Yeah, dude, I agree. And the sweet spot's just massive, easy to get through the zone. Yep. And it just, it just felt the best out of all of them. And I feel like with the barrel size on the 243 over there, it almost made the handle flex like too much. Yeah, Whereas this, you know, like th these have a lot of flex mm -hmm. in the handle. It looks like the Machado. Yeah, yeah, it kind of, it kind of looks it's sick. Dope. Yeah, in the orange, I if kind you, of vibe with it. I kind of vibe with it too, <laughs> man. Yeah, sick. right on. All right, guys, so uh, we'll be swinging more uh, of these wood composites soon. We're gonna get pretty heavy into the wood bat stuff here uh, now that we're wrapping up uh, the the metal bat madness. So uh, stay tuned, guys. We got more coming. All right, folks, there you have it. Will and JT's hot takes on the D Marini wood composites. Uh, we like that 110 a lot today. It looks super sick. I'm probably biased because orange is my favorite color. But guys, specifically for a contact hitter, a younger guy, this is going to be one of your best options. This is like a two-piece composite of the wood bat world. Um, and it's expensive, but the reason they're expensive is because these are actually going to last you multiple seasons. Like, so I, I can personally tell you that from experience. These will last you quite a while, uh, whereas a regular wood bat, has the chance of breaking within your first week of using it. Uh, however, you know, there's something to be said, a lot of the really good quality, high density wood out there is gonna last you a while, but these things are pretty much guaranteed to last you a long time. So guys, there you have it. Thanks for hanging out today. Uh, we got more wood bat stuff coming up in the future. We'll make sure to add these to wood bat madness to see how they stack up against all the other stuff out there. Uh, appreciate you guys. You can check out Bat Bro merch over at baseballbatbros.com. We got some more JT vids coming your way. Check us out on social media, see what's going on behind the scenes. Uh, over on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Peace out, homies. We'll see you next time.